What's going on guys, my name's Hypnostic and welcome to a brand new MWZ video. So I'm sorry for the lack of uploads the last few days, I had a few health concerns and I've been spending time with the family, but I hope you guys are having an amazing Easter so far and don't worry I'll be back to the daily uploads as of today. So quite a few of you guys have been suggesting an assault rifle for Modern Warfare 2, the Chimera. I personally love the Chimera which is based off the Honey Badger or MCX hybrid so I'm definitely excited to see how this thing performs here in Zombies. Before we get into the build I'm using for the Chimera I just quickly want to take a moment to thank U4GM for sponsoring this video. U4GM is a safe, trusted, and reliable Call of Duty service provider and they'll help you unlock all the rare schematics and zombies, all the camos, and they offer a lot of other services. If you guys are interested in this, then click the link in the description below and be sure to use my code HIP for an extra 5% off. So the build I'm using for the Chimera is as follows. I'm using the Bruin Flash Rear Grip for increased sprint to fire speed and ADS speed, the Collapse Stock for a huge boost to overall mobility, the Kaimura RYL33 laser light for the fastest possible sprint to fire and ADS speed boost, the 10 inch SA Phoenix barrel for a bit of kick control and a nice boost to our effective damage range, and last but not least the 45 round mag. Thank you again for the suggestion, if you guys have any other suggestions for weapons you'd like to see me check out then be sure to drop a comment below. Now that we covered the build I'm using for the Chimera it's time to make our way into the tier 3 zone and the Elder Dark Aether to see how it performs so i'll see you all there all right boys we made it to the tier 3 zone as you can see you got a couple zombies behind us so let's just quickly test this thing out we don't have dead shot or anything so of course we're gonna be doing a bit less critical damage but yeah this thing is ripping through that <laughs> man okay yeah we're gonna have some fun with this thing so i'll pick up this bounty contract right next to us and then make our way over to the wonder fizz grab a few perks and then we can really test this thing out. So let's see what target we get. And it's a Mega. Let's go. All right, where's Mega going to be at? Back there? Okay, nice. Wonder Fizz is back there too. Let's go. All right, there we go. Got a couple perks. So let's see. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> yeah, this is feeling good, man. We Gucci. Let's go. All right, Mega Abomination's right here. Let's get his attention. There we go. He's going to charge into us hopefully there we go laser attack is coming in let's hit those criticals there we go already destroyed one of his faces now let's try to make our way up here maybe that can trigger laser attacks as well not 100 percent sure yeah it does nice let's go all right let's hit those criticals and come on just a few more shots there we go destroyed a second face nice let's try to bring him over here now beautiful all right mega Let's run over here maybe climb up here there we go should trigger another and there we go come on Ooh, that's a lot of zombies up here <laughs> all right let's keep focusing on the mega let's keep throwing our blade as well nice come on mega hit us with another laser come on oh dang even when you're not hitting criticals man you're just eating into his health bar this thing is feeling good there we go nice face is glowing a bit perfect all right i'll have to make sure we don't bring him too far from his spawn point though just so he doesn't end up healing on us there we go laser attack is coming in Let's see if we can get the kill with this one we might be able to come on just a few more shots and there we go got the kill <laughs> quick and easy that second mega died as well he dropped a wonder waffle for us let's go Cryo freeze. I'll throw that on. Why not? Let's see what we got off this. Just a few perks, a three plate, and a self revive. But we have no space in our bag. <laughs> I'll be giving away three schematics today, though, over on Twitter. So uh, yeah, make sure to follow me on Twitter, man. That's at hypnosticyt. I do all the schematic giveaways over there. Dang, no bounty contract anywhere, and the tier three zone is contested. So we might have some trouble here, but we'll see. We'll see. Man, this thing feels good. I can't wait to go to the Elder Dark either. But I do want to do a few more contracts here. Um, there's that raid weapon stash back there. I guess we could do that. Hopefully a bounty contract does spawn in though. Hopefully. Fingers crossed, man. There we go. Got the raid weapon stash contract. Let's get this safe opened. And then normally we can just climb up here and let's see if that works. Yeah, we should be able to just chill here for the time being. Kill all the zombies that come up here. 
Let's go. Pretty sure no zombies come from behind, so we're fine. And these boys deliver ammo for you, which is really nice. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Just, <laughs> just look at that, man. This thing's insane. And there we go. Contract complete. Let's see what... Oh, let's go. Juggernaut. Nice, nice, nice. Got that tool there as well. Or crystal, rather. So let's just do that real quick. Let's go. See how this thing performs, actually. Okay. Not, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. But look at this guy, Merriman. <laughs> oh, I love this thing. Oh. oh, there's two bounty contracts. There's one back there, actually. Um, I'll quickly grab this LTV then. All ass over there because there is that bounty contract right there but i think one of these guys will end up getting it so let's just play it safe and make our way back here by the way boys sorry that i didn't upload in a few days um i had a few health concerns and you know spent spent some time with the family for the time being and uh yeah. but i'm feeling better now man i'll be back to the daily uploads don't worry there we go got the contract let's see what target we get there we go, now the glass breaks. <laughs> and we got a mega, let's go, all right. Oh, pretty close as well, nice. I'm not gonna lie, the recoil on this build is kinda harsh, but of course with Deadshot Daiquiri, I mean, yeah, shouldn't have any issues. <laughs> Ooh, got a Mimic coming our way as well. I mean, just, <laughs> just look at that, man. <laughs> pretty sure there's a Disciple nearby too. Um, yeah, where you at, Disciple? No, you're back here somewhere. Oh, there's a Disciple. Nice. Let's quickly throw our blade. There we go. Let's try to hit the Disciple's arm kind of far away. There we go. Let's hit those criticals and Disciple is dead. Perfect. All right. Got the Mega back there. Let's get his attention real quick. He's probably going to charge into us soon. Let's try to climb up here. There we go. Trigger those laser attacks. Let's go. Nice. Already destroyed one of his faces. We'll have to pay attention to all these zombies trying to climb up here. There we go. Let's try to destroy a second face before we have to drop down. Maybe we can. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Awesome. All right, let's take some of these guys out. Got two disciples on us as well, which we will definitely have to take care of. Let's quickly come over here. There we go. And one disciple dead. Let's focus on that second disciple. Let's try to hit his arm. There we go. Nice. Both the disciples are gone. Nice. Let's quickly. Come on, Mega. Move out the way, dog. <laughs> there we go. Hit me with another. Nice. All right. Let's focus on that face right there. Uh, bad angle for us. Not going to lie. All right. Let's try to lure him over to this side. Nice. Ugh. Come on. There we go. Perfect. That should do it, maybe. Yeah. Should be able to get the kill with this one, right? Let's focus in on that face. Come on. Come on, just a few more shots. Oh, so close. Super close. Just a few more. And there we go. Got the kill. Super quick. Um, let's see what we got off that. A pack two crystal. I will take for our Wonder Waffa. Why not? Thank you very much. All right. So no more bounty contract anywhere. Come on, man. <laughs> All right. I'll hang around for a bit. I mean, no way in hell I'm doing a sport control. Like, that, that's not happening. You boys are not going to see that on this channel. Hello, Mangler. Let's quickly take this guy out. I mean, j <laughs> this thing makes this game too easy, man. I swear. Oh, man. I mean, yeah, just from using this thing in the tier 3, I'm going to have to rate this thing at about 9 out of 10. It's just insane. Fire rate's great. Damage output is great. Mobility is on point as well with this build. Just no downside so far. Honestly, this thing's insane. Ooh, bounty contract just spawned in next to us. Oh my good. So that those boy. Okay, no, no, no. They're distracted. We're good. We're good. Let's make our way in here. All right. Hopefully we get another mega. Um, I might make my way over to the Elder Dark Ether after this contract though. And we got a Mangler. Okay, I think he's gonna spawn back there. Yeah. Nice. All right, Mangler is right here. Let's try to break his armor. There we go. Can we? Oh, nice. We're working that guy. Let's throw our blade. Let's get a bit of distance here. Nice. Not trying to go down. Let's go. Keep hitting those criticals. Mangler's about halfway. 
Order of his health far left. Come on, just a few more shots. And there we go. Contract complete. This thing's feeling really good, man. It's a shame about Juggernaut. Would have liked to keep that, but I mean, yeah. Just look at that bag, man. <laughs> Yeah, this thing is feeling good. All right, let's make our way over to the Dark Ether portal and see how this bad boy performs in the Elder Dark Ether. All right, we made it to the portal. Let's use that sigil, accept the teleport, and I'll see you all in the tier five zone. And there we go, boys. We made it to the Elder Dark Ether. So once you spawn in, just turn around and make your way into this warehouse building here. This is where you find the first contract, and that's gonna be the bounty contract. So just climb up here. And there we go, got the contract. Now our target is the Mega Abomination. His spawn point seems to be static over at C8 as long as you're in the Elder Dark Ether. And uh, that area is full of fog, but I'll make my way over there and show you guys my strategy for taking him out. There we go, Mega Abomination is right back there. Let's quickly throw our blade. Nice, hopefully it doesn't... Oh, okay, he's hitting us with a laser attack, it's all good though. Let's just hope we don't go down. Oh, we might. We might, boys. Oh, okay. That's unfortunate. All right. I did not want him to hit us with that laser attack quite yet, but it's all good. It's all good. We have an extra self revive, so we'll be fine. Let's try to lure him over to this area back here. Is he not going to come? Come on, Mega. Make your way over here. There we go. He's coming. He's coming. All right. Just a bit slow today, but, you know, he's fine. He's fine. And then let's just climb up here. That's going to trigger laser attacks. Ooh, let's hit those criticals while we can. Beautiful. Laser attacks coming in already. Nice. All right. Pretty sure we destroyed one of his faces already. Perfect. All right. We'll have to jump down. Quite a few zombies up here. Let's quickly. There we go. Nice. Another laser attack is coming in. Uh, this is risky, but we should be all right. There we go. We're fine. We're fine. Let's quickly play it up again. So we destroyed... Oh, almost destroyed a second face. All right. Now we can climb up on this rooftop here. So that's kind of the strategy. Just make your way back here so you don't have to deal with all that fog. And then just keep climbing up to buildings because that triggers the laser attacks usually. Um, come on, Mega. <laughs> we might have to lure him over here. It's all good. Let's quickly jump down. There we go. Laser attack is coming in. Nice. Let's see if we can hit a few criticals from here. And go on. There we go. Ooh. Almost one HP there. Star blade. All right. We'll have to quickly. Uh, guess we can kind of take advantage of it. Let's go. Nice. Good angle. All right. Let's come over to this side again. Another laser attack's coming in. That's what I like to see. Come on, Mega. Let's go. Pretty sure we... Yeah, we destroyed two faces now. All right, let's quickly climb this ladder here. That's going to trigger another laser. Hopefully. Come on, Mega. There we go. Laser attack is coming in. Let's throw our blade. Nice. Let's focus on that final face. Oh, Ooh, that was a lot of zombies right there, man. <laughs> All right, let's bring the Mega over to this side. Just make sure he doesn't end up healing on us. There we go. Ugh. Nice. All right. Come on, Mega. One more laser attack, man. That's all we need. Uh, can we climb this? Yes, we can. There we go. Nice. Come on, Mega. I swear, when you need the laser attack, he doesn't hit you with it, huh? <laughs> all right, let's focus on that face. We're getting those critical hits in. Nice. That's going to be it. Should be able to get the kill here. And come on, there we go, got the kill. Quick and easy. Nice, got a mangler right there. That's trying to, trying to cause some issues. Come on, let's go. Nice. <laughs> yeah, this Chimera feels good, man. I'm loving this thing. Absolutely loving it. Let's take out that Disciple as well. Just a few more shots and there we go. Ooh, two Disciples. Jeez, we might have to, <laughs> yeah, we'll have to pop Ether Shroud here, or we can't check our reward, so let's quickly do that, there we go, um, an Elder Sigil, an extra self revive, and I guess I'll leave the Blood Burner key there, because I really don't use that, alright, so once you finish that contract, make your way over to that building right there, that's E7 on the map, 
Now there's a staircase inside or there's a ladder at the back of the building which I'll go ahead and show you guys in a second. There we go, the ladder's right here, so just climb up here. Now this is going to be the Outlast contract. And for that, all you really have to do is stay in a room. I'll show you guys my strategy for that as well. There's two strategies that I go with depending on the weapon I'm using. But just pick up the contract, climb here, and then parachute over in this direction. Right into this foggy area. There shouldn't be too many zombies here, so should be fine. Then just climb up this hill, climb these two walls, and there we go. We got the P&D device right here. Let's get that activated. Now, the two strategies I usually go with is you could train them around, which, you know, that's probably the safer option, or you can actually go into this back room here and just kill all the zombies coming in. I mean, both of those work, but it all depends on the weapon you're using. So if you're not using an overpowered weapon, I wouldn't recommend this strategy, but it definitely works. You might have to run out from time to time, as you saw right there but generally speaking you should be fine like i mean yeah just look at that so yeah just take your time with it don't take any unnecessary risks and i'll see you guys once i'm done with the contract and there we go contract complete now once you finish out most of the zombies are gonna die and yeah there we go we're all good let's check our reward and we got another blood burner key plan um Hold on, let's quickly drop the self revive, I guess, because I definitely want to keep that Elder Sigil. All right, let's go. Good loot so far. Pretty much have a full bag of schematics, which is very nice. So once you finish that contract, make your way over to the mall. That's H6 on the map, or kind of, yeah, kind of I6 on the map. It's right up there at the peak. Now, there is an Ether tier over there. There's one back there as well that you can take. You could also go in through the staircase inside the mall, but I just like to take the parking garage back there. Whichever way you choose, just make your way up to the roof, and I'll see you guys once I'm there. And there we go, we made it to the roof, then just pick up the contract and immediately start running west. As you can see up ahead, those three extractors just came down, so just keep running in this direction here. Um, make sure you have your Casimirs equipped. We kind of messed up there because we only have two Casimirs, but we should be fine. So I like to just parachute over to this platform here, and then right down to this area. I think we'll pop Ether Shroud for this part, I guess, since we don't have an extra Casimir. But, um, yeah, that works too, so we'll be fine. Let's just quickly do that. There we go. One out of three. Now just keep running in this direction back here. Let's throw that blade again. Nice. Now, once you're at this point here, just throw a Casimir at that wall. And once again, you can just disable the extractor. Quick and easy. Then run towards the third and final extractor. Climb on this wall here. And then just throw one on the ground right there. That's going to land pretty close to the extractor. There we go. <laughs> and once again, you can just disable the extractor. Quick and easy. The Casimirs do all the work for you. So... Definitely an easy contract. Let's see what we got off of that. An extra Elder Sigil. Uh, I guess I guess we'll leave that in there. That's all good. Don't need the self revive since we did all three contracts, and I'm gonna down myself anyways just so I can keep all this juicy loot in our tombstone stash. So my final rating for the Chimera is gonna have to be a 9.5 out of 10. This thing is just insane. You're super mobile with it. Damage output is great. Good amount of fire rate as well really mobile with this build so yeah no negatives to this gun honestly definitely a great choice thank you again for the suggestion if you guys have any other suggestions for weapons you'd like to see me check out then be sure to drop a comment below thank you all for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did then please be sure to hit that like button it really helps out comment with any suggestions for future videos and don't forget to subscribe to show your support to the channel I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever in the world you are, and as always, goodbye.